We're here today to produce this film because it tells and gives a true record of my achievements and my life story. It starts with me as a youngster in South Devon in the village of Horrorbridge and the reason we came to live in Horrorbridge was the fact that this was the 1940s and my parents had been blitzed in their living accommodation twice within six months in Plymouth and so they decided to move out into the countryside at Horrorbridge where my father's older brother already had a family living in that village. And so we moved to a small country estate called Brook on the crossroads to Sanford Spiney. And my mother was offered the accommodation of the lodge house to the main manor house in return for doing some service. My older brother, who was four years older than myself, he lived with my great aunt in Plimpton because they were wealthy, they had their own house, own car, and he was a major figure in the Royal Naval Hospital in Plymouth. What we need to know and describe is the situation that Plymouth faced then. Pictures in my book will show Mountbatten, the uh, base just across the water from Plymouth, within Plymouth Sound, where there were flying boats which protected all the shipping that was moving up and down the channel towards the London area. Out in the country nearby was Harrowbeer, the airfield, and it had Czechoslovakian pilots flying hurricanes helping to protect these convoys. Above and close to where we lived was Plasterdown Camp, which my father in his final years of his military service was assigned to. This situation at the time we were in great difficulty and the most important thing in our area was Horrorbridge Railway Station and it was important because it moved troops, coal, everything. It was the motorway for us in that day. So the situation in my family was I was born in 1942, I had an older brother and sister and I was 10 pounds when I was born and therefore I was like the cuckoo in the nest and my older brother was very frail and suffered from asthma so I was expected to do things that he should have done and the pictures of me show that I'm as big as him, although I'm four years younger. In the winter of 47, it was particularly bad, huge snowfall. And we were lucky enough to have moved from our cramped uh, lodge into bigger accommodation in the village of Horrorbridge because I now started the primary school and from the primary school uh, 
we uh, took the 11 plus exam and I made my way after passing it to the grammar school in Tavistock. In this period I became very interested in being an air cadet and having a future in the Royal Air Force as an engineer. So uh, I went on a visit to the aircraft factory in Guildford and Surrey where they made, later made, the Harrier. But whilst I was there, they had demonstrations with the flying bedstead, which was the thing from which the Harrier came. So it was because of this uh, wizard technology that I joined the RAF.